Hi, this is Prakash from 60 seconds. So today we'll look at a question from algebra. This question is from CAT 2004. So we'll try to solve it using a standard approach and also by using the options. Before I solve it, I would request you to try to answer the question on your own. And once you have tried, please look at it for the solution. Okay. Assuming that you have tried the question, let's see how we can solve this question. The question goes like this y equals 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 plus. So, this is an infinite fraction, and we have to find the value of this fraction or the value of y. Now, if you look closely, this part repeats itself. This part repeats itself and it is nothing but y. So, I can write my expression as y equals 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus y. Solving this further, I will get 1 by, if I take the LCM as 3 plus y, I get 6 plus 2y plus 1 divided by 3 plus y which gives me 3 plus y goes on the numerator so it gives me 3 plus y divided by 7 plus 2y so i have y equals 3 plus y by 7 plus 2y now what i'll do i'll cross multiply so i'll get 7y plus 2y square equals 3 plus y solving this further i will get 2y square plus 6y minus 3 equals 0. So, this is a quadratic equation and I have to find the roots of this quadratic, quadratic equation. So, the roots are given by y equals minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Here, a equals 2, b equals 6, c equals minus 3. I hope this part is clear. I am comparing my quadratic equation with the standard quadratic equation of ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So I am comparing my equation with this standard quadratic equation and I know the roots of a quadratic equation are given by y equals minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4 c by 2a. So substitute those values, I get b is 6, so I get minus 6 plus minus root of 6 square is 36 minus 4 into a is 2, c is minus 3 divided by 2a, 2 into 2. Now this is minus 6. And if I take a minus here also, then the whole expression will become negative. And I know the value of this expression has to be positive because y equals 1 by, so everything is positive. So the expression has to be positive. So I cannot take the minus sign, I only have to consider the plus sign. So if I take the plus sign, I get minus 6 plus 36 minus 4 into 2 into minus 3. So 4 to the 8, 8 to the 24. So I get 36. And this minus minus will become plus. So I get 36 plus 24, which gives me 16. Root 60 is nothing but 2 root 50 divided by 4. This whole thing divided by 4. 2 will get cancelled from the numerator and the denominator. So I'll get root 15 minus 3 by 2, which is nothing but my fourth option. So, this is my answer. So, this is one way using the standard approach you can solve the question. Another approach can be using options. So, let's see how you can solve it using options. I know my value of y is this expression. Now, let me try to look at the minimum and maximum value of y. Minimum value and maximum value of y. Now, if I want to minimize the value of y, let me look at the minimum value first. So, if I want to minimize the value of y, I should maximize the denominator. I should maximize the denominator. 
because the numerator is already fixed. So I should maximize the denominator. So to maximize the denominator, I have 2 plus 1 by something. Now I am trying to maximize this denominator. To maximize the denominator, what I will do is I have this 1 by something, I will ignore this by something. So I will get only 2 plus this 1. Because 1 divided by something will obviously decrease its value so long the denominator is greater than 1. It is 3 plus something, so definitely it is greater than 1. So 1 by something greater than 1 will decrease its value. So what I will do is I will I will ignore this part. I will ignore this part. So I will get value of y is 1 by 2 plus 1 which is 1 by 3. I get y equals 1 by 2 plus 1 which gives me 1 by 3. Okay, I have ignored this part in circle to get the minimum value of y because by ignoring this part I have maximized the denominator and I have minimized the value of y. I hope this part is clear. Now to obtain the maximum value what I will do is I will have to minimize the denominator. To minimize the denominator is easy. I know it is 1 by something. So to minimize this value what I will do is it is 2 plus something. I will forget the something. So I will take only 2. If I take only 2 then I will get the minimum value of the denominator because it will be something more than 2. So I am taking 2. So I get value of y as half. So I know my value of y will lie between 1 by 3 and half. It will not be equal to 1 by 3 and it will not be equal to half. It will be greater than 1 by 3 and less than half. Let me see which option gives me such a value. So let me try the first option. First option tells me root 11 plus 3 by 2. Even if I ignore this root 11 part, it gives me 1.5. 3 by 2 gives me 1.5, which is way more than half. So this cannot be my answer. Since this cannot be my answer, same way, third cannot be my answer because instead of root 11, I have root 50. Obviously, this is even more than root first option. So this cannot be my answer. Now I am left with two options, option number 2 and option number 4. Let me try the second option. Second option tells me what? Root 11 minus 3 by 2. What is root 11? Approximately. Root 11 approximately will be what? Uh, 33 square I know is 1089. So 3.3 .3 square will be nothing but 10.89 or even if I take 35 square. 35 square is nothing but 1, 2, 2, 5. These are easy values. 5 square is 25, 3, 4 is 12. So I get 1, 2, 2, 5. If you don't know, you can calculate. So if I have 12.25 root, if I have root of 12.25, it gives me nothing but 3.5. And here I have root of 11. Obviously, that value will be less than 3.5. Obviously, that value will be less than 3.5. Even if I take it as 3.5, I get 3.5 minus 3, which is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 by 2 is 0.25. So this value will be less than 0.25. But I am looking for a value which lies between 0 0.33 and 0 0.5. So this cannot be my answer. So the only answer can be option number 4. Let me check the value. Root 15. Root 15 very close to root 16. So this value will be slightly less than 4. So I will get 4 minus 3 by 2 which will give me 0.5. I know root 15 will be slightly less than 4. So this value will also be slightly less than 0.5. So the value obtained from option number 4 lies in the range that I am looking for. So, fourth can only be my answer. I need not even check this value, but even if I check, I find that 
this lies in the region that I am looking for. So, four is my answer. So, this is how we can solve this question using a conventional approach, which again is not very difficult, or using options, which definitely is much simpler. So, I hope the two ways that you solved it are clear. If you have any questions, please post them below, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.